All right, guys, I know it's been a while. I've been sick, but I've also been busy 3D printing. So I'm going to show you some stuff that I've done. So I've, I've made these coils. Here's a big one. 3D printed. And this one, I'm going to make a bifiler coil. This is a really big one. Here's a, like a more medium-sized one. And this is a really small one that I've actually um, created and wound. And I wound this with, I think it's like 28, 30 gauge wire, really thin wire, because I want to use this in conjunction with this. Pretty cool, huh? So this white stuff is crazy glue. I spilled some on there. But... Yeah, you can't beat these rotors, but these are small magnets, and I want to use this with this and that really bizarre hall sensor that I've talked to you guys about. It has, so he, so here's, here's one of the hall sensors now. Let me take this off of here. Um, instead of three legs, like a normal hall sensor, it has four, which allows me to use this in a pulse motor without any transistor or read switch, it, it acts like a Hall sensor and a transistor at the same time. It does all the switching right within this little guy. But the catch is you need very thin wire um, and a certain resistance or this thing heats up. So thin wire, small magnets, and it goes like crazy. So I'm going to set this guy up. Here uh, is one of the bigger ones. And again, these are all 3D printed, man, and you can't get any more perfect than this. These are 3 inch by half inch by half inch monstrositos. I'm going to set that up here. So I actually built this guy which took a long time to print and I'm so pissed because I cheated and instead of doing it correctly with a proper infill and adding another maybe half hour to the build I rushed it did a very small infill when I tried to um put the shaft so I didn't have the right uh the right dimensions I had measured out exactly eight and these guys are eight but when you 3d print and especially over a long distance like this you're going to have some variation and so what I usually do is I test I do a test print of just the hole inside of a block and then I fit it onto the shaft I I thought I had done that but I didn't so this turned out to be a waste. These are perfect, just like these. Um, so I have the, the ceramic bearings. These are press fit. And the magnets that I had to go in here were press fit. And they fit perfect, but I blew it. I was going to try to salvage it, but it ruins the whole thing as far as um, being accurate. And so I 3D printed some stands like I showed you, press fit bearings. These are some bigger ones that are going to be press fit as well that I use ah, in conjunction with this guy. Um, but let me let me pause the video and get this. Let me um, solder on some um, some leads and get this set up and show you how it works. There we go. And so this is the one that's only 5 volts because of that special um, that special hall sensor. So the two outside leads go to power. The two inside leads go to the coil. I just have it kind of floating there. 3D printed, 3D printed, 3D printed which is freaking awesome. 
And the reason why it's making that weird sound is because these end caps, so these bearings are eight millimeter ID. This shaft is six, so I had to build these little sleeves, which is awesome that I could do that. And that's at five volts. Let's see if I can turn it down. So four volts. Four volts. Let's see if I can turn it down to three. Three point eight volts. Whoops. There we are. Four point nine five volts. And I I here, let me turn this off. I wound the um that flat coil like that, I wound it on this guy here that I found on, I think I found this on eBay. I actually took the, there's an, um, another gear that goes in here that ups the ratio to like 10 to one. But when you're wrapping coils, you don't want to go that fast. So I put this big handle on here, this big handle right here so that I can go slower. So the next one I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this guy as a bifiler coil. But I just wanted to show you, I know it's not much for the amount of time that I've been away, that, that my 3D printed stuff works. I'm having to learn how to refine it though and do it a little bit better. So with each 3D printed rotor is going to come probably a better outcome but I love these weird hall sensors where I don't need a um, a transistor and, and I mean basically I can run this off of the super caps all day long so this is the next one I'm going to set up this is the bigger rotor this guy's a monster I'm going to set that one up I'm going to use these guys hopefully I may have to print a new setup though um, I mean these these are working fine oh and um, G law if you're watching I tested the uh, ceramic bearings and even though they have metal OD and metal ID they're not uh, conductive the ID doesn't conduct out to the OD. So they must be using a, um, a ceramic, oops, they must be using a ceramic race for the bearings. So I could probably, I could probably put some graphite in there and that would make them conductive. Oh, sorry about the camera stuff. But that bearing, I mean, that rotor runs true as can be. I mean, I could shave off of that thing. It's so true. That's the one thing I love about the 3D printing. Ah, is that although this probably took like an hour and a half, two hours to print, if I were to make that with acrylic the way I used to be, it would have taken me a lot longer. So let me go back and print, reprint that one that I messed up, the one that I showed you earlier, because I've got 12 disc magnets that I want to put in there. Let me see if I can find that one. Oops, sorry about the camera, guys. I think I threw it away. Yeah, I'm going to reprint this guy. And I'm going to print it with a much heavier infill. It'll take longer. But I've got everything dialed in. I'll make the uh, this um, shaft, which is supposedly 8 millimeters. 
And so the one thing about 3D printing is when you're, you know, if, you, if you're printing a small piece, it's pretty accurate. But a long stretch like this, you know, going through, um, it, it, there's, there's, there's some variation. So I'll have to up it to like 8.7 and and that should work great all right guys hopefully i can get that thing printed and be back out here again um i'm gonna have to well actually i don't i have uh sky's sky's beautiful coil that i can run this big guy off of so maybe i'll set that one up next all right ciao